Good day, Mall Rollers. Well, got a lot of good news to report today. I started ballasting on the new section, which is mainly a lot of touch up work, and re I'm ballasting this new section I put in. And just general, generally letting you guys know. Tonight, 7 o'clock. It's maybe a little earlier. I don't know. It all depends on what time I get back from having to go my wife, to my wife's office with her. It, I'm basically her emergency contact, so you guys know how that goes. Anyway, I picked up a 21 speed, oh, 10 speed Huffy. Or it might be Murphy, I'm not sure. Phoenix mountain bike, 10 speed, 26 inch tire in case you're wondering. And well, on the first real ride on today. Yeah, Hopewell is not flat. There was more hills here than I'm used to. Anyway, I'm pushing 220 guys, so. Yeah, I need to work out. I know. And guess what? There's plenty of rail fanning action within a five mile radius of the house. Up out north of where I'm at is the Hopewell Hangwell plant, which CSX and Norfolk Southern Service. Which is actually kind of a unique thing because I just came through there a little while ago by bike. There's actually a unique little crossing there. If I can get back to it, I, I'll try and get some photos of it. But originally it was Land Coastline and Norfolk and Western. Which Norfolk and Western runs basically north, north, south. And the ACL line runs on like a 45 to it which is kind of odd because it's a concrete I want to say culvert style bridge that they use it's the weirdest thing I've seen but both lines use six axle power so I usually see where from AC 4400s SD 24s you name it is used and way NS runs around here if it runs couple on and go basically just the way Norfolk and Western did <laughs> but I'm still open to suggestions on tonight's chat guys so for all, heck for all I know it could be basic again you guys just watch me do a base scenery tonight or you probably even buy mountain couplers, which is a U a prototype practice here in the United States. I don't know about Europe. Anybody from Europe, if you want to chime in, feel more than welcome to on that one, because I really don't know. But anyway, just a quick brief update on what's how much ballasting I've gotten done, and this is just been the past hour. You can see where it's still wet. Right here is the area I'm currently working at. But there's the soon to be engine, three stall diesel engine house. Yes, I know it's a European prototype, but hey, when you pick up a structure for ten, a kit for ten dollars, you don't complain. Especially a three bay engine house. And yes, I have done some lot, very light weather night. And that's not the beginning. I've also. <laughs> Vinny, that's one of your numbers, I know. Another engine I'm working on is an old Matrix. <sighs> Crap, I forget the name of it. V I think it's a VO 660. But you can see it's the old, old Matrix unit. Which, as you guys can see, 
I buy my Microtrain 1015s on it. You're going to be noticing a theme. Buy them out, buy them out, buy them out, buy them out, buy them out. I'm tired of dealing when I'm switching with the cars acting all squirrely. The only cars uh, I will permit to act squirrely are these guys. Quad sets. And yes, these are true quad sets. As you can see, I've draw barred them together into a set me quad. Just like the real like how the real ones were. Although a few railroads had them individual, which I don't know why they're not 90% of the time they're running unit train service anyway. Anyway, 7 o'clock, possibly earlier Eastern time. It just all depends on what time I get, get done eating dinner and all that. Anyway, see you then, guys.